It is Vlogmas Day 13. It's December the 13th. It's actually Friday the 13th. But today is about to be a blessed day. And I am Shayna of The Wealth Five. And I create videos to help you eliminate debt, grow your income, and build wealth. But since it is Vlogmas, I am taking you on a day in my life every single day until Christmas. So we're about to get into it right now. So my sister... Text me this morning and told me that I am terrible at Vlogmas because I did not put up day 12's vlog yet and I <laughs> couldn't because we came home so late. I did all that driving. I was just tired. So I just finished editing day 12, got that uploaded, and now it's time for me to do a um, an interview. But look, y'all. I'm not a regular vlogger. I'm trying to do the best that I can. <laughs> so I have been trying to put out the videos the same day. But I see people doing all types of stuff. But she claims that the people that she watches for Vlogmas, they all upload by midnight, before midnight on the same day. But I've seen people do pre-recorded videos. I've seen people combine the days. I've seen people put up videos like a few days later or at least the next day after. So... I don't think I'm doing too bad, but according to my sister, I am terrible at Vlogmas. <laughs> but I appreciate you for staying tuned and watching my Vlogmas videos. I've been enjoying it. It is a little um, difficult to always have to, you know, be editing every single day. And I'm not doing the most stellar editing. I'm just doing what I need to get by. But um, it's been interesting. But I also plan, this is kind of an experiment for me. So... We're going to, I'm going to do a video about what I feel like the results are from Vlogmas in January. I'm going to do a little report on it. So I think it'll be really interesting to, um, to figure out how, how this all goes. So yeah, but I have this interview. So I'm about to get on the conference call and see what they are talking about for this job. Bob, the recruiter, I think he, he is, um, he was telling me that um, a lot of people work remotely. So I just wrapped up that interview that I had um, with a company, a healthcare marketing company, that I would be able to work from home. It actually has the same title as the um, position that I interviewed for yesterday. But I was like sitting here in the window because you may recall from previous videos that I have really poor um cell phone service in the apartment so i'm like sitting here by the window <laughs> or actually this is the door but by the door um trying to make sure that she can hear me um but what i'm about to do now is actually go um to the place that fixed my car and complain to them about the the tire pressure because actually although i put air in the tires up to the amount that it said the light is still on so i don't know if it's something else that's going on or what so i'm gonna go over there and have them check that out um because i did call and complain yesterday and they said um to just bring it in and they'll look at it she was trying to tell me like oh it has to do with the um the temperature but i know i know that that's the thing but the thing is that i picked up the car um when the weather was warmer and the light was on i just never went over well, i just was like oh well maybe Maybe it was just one tire and I was like, let me put air in it. But then when I went to check the tires, I noticed that all of them were at 20. I was like, okay, something ain't adding up. And I know it's not due to the weather because it was warm when the light originally came on. And so, um, and it just recently got cold um, yesterday actually, but the light had already been on. So uh, I'm about to go over there and I might be going back over to the property and wait for uh, Mike to call me to let me know what's up with that. I went to have my tires checked on and the guy told me that my tires probably aren't calibrated because that's a problem in the Honda Civics. And then when he went to show me how to do it, I remember that I have done that before. So it is hopefully, um, hopefully the tire pressure in my car is completely fine now. And that has been fixed. But I think that still doesn't excuse the fact that they didn't put enough air in my tires to begin with. Now I'm about to head into Sam's Club because we don't have any um, paper towel. And thankfully, my parents and Mike's mom 
has a Sam's Club membership. My parents have the business membership because my dad um, is a truck mechanic. He's always owned his own business. He now does like mobile truck repair. So they've always had a Sam's Club membership for probably like 20 something years now. And their membership gets me um, the access to the gas. However, they decided not to renew immediately. They're gonna renew, but they just decided not to renew like right away. Um, so, in the meantime, we've been using Mike's mom's Sam's Club membership. But that means that I can't get gas. Well, no, that doesn't mean that we don't have her card. We only have my mom's card. So, because my mom's card is not active and we don't have Mike's mom's card, I can't put it into the gas um, station machines because you actually have to insert the physical card whereas like in the stores all you have to do is show your card to enter and I have a card or you have to show like a picture of your card or something like that and then when you go to check out they have self checkout so you just have to scan the barcode on the card so we have a picture of Mike's mom's card so I scanned that so hopefully my parents hurry up and get the membership one day I'll be a big girl and buy my own membership because that gas is so much cheaper it's about 15 cents cheaper than everywhere else um but i'm about to go in there get some paper towel and i think that's all that we need i'm gonna get some paper towel so i'm about to do that <laughs> Pulling up at the property. And let me tell y'all this. So I had the interview today and the job is becoming a little bit more appealing to me because of the fact that it's work from home and this flip is looking better and better each day we talk about it. And so I low-key kind of do want to live here. <laughs> But um, there's nothing in Columbus, so it's kind of like, why I want to live here? But the house is about to be fire. It's about to be fire. But, oosh. But, um, we're about to go measure something in the kitchen. And he has an investor coming over here named Jim. He's a hoot. My two favorite people oh, in the world. Here, I guess he's here. My two favorite people, Jim, my girlfriend. I don't know if you can see Jim. Sorry to hear about that, Jim. Right, yeah. I'm 17 years old, you know, I hate to do it, but let's look at that wall, see what we can do. I think my sister, uh, unfortunately, her, her dog is slowing down for So now, okay, you want to leave this wall now. Hi. Who is this beautiful lady? Shana. Nice to meet you. No. Yeah, it's me. It's no, me, man. That's all me, Jim. You're looking for him. Jim, that's all me now. I mean, God. <laughs> she is beautiful. Hey, right. Seriously. Seriously. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I don't know so, how to do it anyway. I think you were, you were telling me to open this up a little well, while. Uh, At least the Durbin's did. Just open, just, open just, it. Just, just, just keep coming in and say, open it up? Uh -huh. Now, I'm saying, I'm saying, header it and just take this whole wall out. Well, now, so what, what she, I think. Now, if you most have people, a small one, then it gives you a table right here. Right, right. Okay. So the decorators like the table so at the same time. Right, yeah. So what, what, what. I think six out of maybe ten people said it was to keep the wall just widen these out okay, by okay. like six or seven minutes. I go along with that and it's cheaper. Now right. everybody loves gas today. Right. Right. And here's what I if we're gonna do that, we gotta watch your money someplace else. That's what correct, folks. Correct. All right, now what when I teach, what did I say what sells houses? Kitchen what, bathroom. Kitchen bathroom. Yeah. Okay. We got roof, got the good thing is HVAC is good. A one. So yeah. you ain't gotta worry about that. Hopefully. Right, we need somebody really tweak it out and say it's good to go. Okay. No, um, and then my city. Came okay, by. okay, guys. Yeah, yeah. Richard, Rod, Drew, Drew. Drew. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, Drew don't know how to inspect. I mean, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he did recommend he, that he, I pay for Richard the uh, service, yeah. but his, Drew's, Drew's my guy that comes in. Measure the house. Yeah, but but he he's yeah, he my buddy. And then my his, other his son AC guy. Pro football, you know that? Oh no, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't. Yeah, yeah, no. But my other 
AC guy and the inspector both okay. said that it's. So, is so now here's my vision. If we're going to open this wall, uh -huh. do a base cabinet over here, and move the refrigerator down here. Now we're going to do an island concept and move the stove down to. Okay. I was thinking on this side, but yeah. he wants to do it on that side. Well, uh, I want to do it on this side too because okay. what I want to do now is put, drop one of those. Come on, come on, Jim. Preach, Jim. I'm trying to take the horse to the water, Jim. Now, it ain't required if it's electric, okay? Because yeah. I can get by with it. But if you put a gas one in, uh, because you got the gas carbon dioxide coming off, I want to. Are you recording me? Uh, yeah, yeah. Shit. Is that fine? Is that fine? <laughs> is that fine? <laughs> you always tell somebody you record them first. You're right, you're right. <laughs> But you know, put it back. Uh, <laughs> now, now, so here's what I'm thinking. Put it back on. It's okay. Right, go, go. Uh, uh, so here's what I'm thinking. If we put the refrigerator down there, now, the, when the kitchen design is this triangle, you know what triangle is? Yeah, I, I just read about this. this. So, <laughs> sink, refrigerator, stove. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, whatever triangle it, it, it can be, stove, sink, refrigerator. I mean, whatever. But but as long that's that should work triangle, uh -huh. so that we have less. Right. Go back. Mm -hmm. We're doing that triangle when we're cooking. Right. Okay. And the closer that triangle is, is the less that you step. Correct. Okay. okay. But then you got to have counter space to prep to work in your triangle too. That's correct. The correct. correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so here's what I'm going to envision. If we put a refrigerator, counter that refrigerator there, we got to spend a little bit more for those than they do these. I don't know. Uh, well, 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 so I've always been told now because my purpose is to buy the fridge, but I've been told that that's something that the buyers should do because they want their own fridge. If you want to sell a house quick, I'm going to put a, my, okay. we put a fridge in every flipper we do. Okay. okay. Thing is to, because now the buyer walks in and says, I ain't got a refrigerator. Exactly. But now, oh, you're going to pay some clothing costs for me? And oh, fridge? And put a refrigerator? Let me, let this me. move in ready. Let me. We are back at home and it is dinner time. So I'm about to cook a meal from the meal on app. I chose to cook this, um, what is it? strip sirloin or strip loin steak and mashed okay shana get it together stripped strip loin steak with mashed potatoes and garlicky garlicky spinach saute why can't i speak okay so it says it's going to take 35 minutes this is for two servings and i need a chef's knife colander i don't think we have that i have that at my well, not in my place, but actually, did I ever bring the one that I had over here? I don't know, but I have one of my storage in it. But okay, colander, cutting board, we got cutting boards, garlic press, I ain't got no garlic press. <laughs> Measuring cups, I probably need one, but I don't got one. Measuring cups, spoons, mixing bowls, potato smasher, small saucepan, Stainless steel or cast iron skillet, skillets, tongs, vegetable peeler. Okay, I know how to get around with a, a few of those things, but we have most of that, those things. But you know, I moved in with my boyfriend. He's a man, he don't got all the supplies, but it's fine. We do what we can do with what we have, you know? So here we go. Ingredients, baby spinach, garlic, strip loin, steak, which is AKA New York strip, yellow potatoes, black pepper, salt, and virgin coconut oil. So I already know that I'm not going to use virgin coconut oil because I don't like how it tastes on certain foods. I love coconut oil by Phil, or coconuts and coconut oil and everything. Coconut milk, I love it. Grew up using all that stuff before it even gave, became popular. But I don't like how it tastes on certain things. So I'm just going to use um, olive oil. Instructions. Let's get to it. So I already messed up dinner because I completely forgot that I did not buy potatoes the other day. So guess we're only having steak with spinach and maybe some um, sweet potato fries. You want that, babe? Uh, sure. You sure? Sounds like you're not sure. sure be. It sounds like you're not confident, despite saying sure. You're not confident? Okay, I'm just trying to, you know, fill out the meal, but. No, we can do it. So while 
I'm cooking. Bay is over here taking another shot at putting together the desk that we messed up. Not due to our fault, due to poor instructions. But, um, or the fact that the instructions didn't come, but this time the instructions did come. But um, he's putting together the desk. So that way we have a place for him to have, um, I guess, put his laptop and things on while he's recording the course. He decided that he wanted to go to work today and not take off the day, so that's why we did not record today. But the plan is to record tomorrow, right, babe? Mm -hmm. So we'll start recording the course tomorrow. I'm excited. Let me go check on the food. This is like one of the only pure olive oils that are available in the grocery stores um, at Trader Joe's and it's relatively inexpensive. It's the really only authentic one. A lot of the other ones have like fillers and stuff like that. Bay put it all together this time by himself with the thanks of instructions. It's key to have instructions. So I just logged in to YouTube Studio and guess what I saw? I got 10K subscribers! Rev, babe, proud of you. Thanks, babe. 10K! Thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. every single one of y'all. 10K subscribers! Yes! Let's do it! So we just finished eating dinner. Um, obviously, I didn't have the potatoes to go with the steak, but it came out fine. But I can't really give like an accurate review of the app because I feel like that's something we cooked before anyway, you know. Uh, so what I'm going to do tomorrow, I'm going to actually take out the chicken out of the freezer right now. But I'm going to make actually what the thing that he kind of wanted for today. <clears throat> I'm going to make this garlic sage chicken thighs with maple roasted acorn. So I'm gonna make that for dinner tomorrow. I've never had acorn squash, I don't think. I don't recall. Um, and let me actually look at the ingredients. Let's make sure I have everything. I think the potatoes were the only thing that I didn't buy the other day. So I didn't wanna buy a whole bag. Acorn squash, chicken thighs, garlic, lemon, black pepper, chili powder. Yeah, so we have everything for that. So I'm gonna cook that tomorrow, and especially since it's nothing, I've never had acorn squash. I think that will give me a better indication of whether or how the the recipes taste but i do like the app so far in terms of like making them sip things simple helping me to have ideas about like what should we eat like because i'm earlier today i was like oh what should we eat and i opened up the app and i was like oh let's pick one of these things here that's what this is for so i think it simplifies things a bit but someone in the comments did recommend where they said that it's this sounds very similar to another app. Emails? Is that what she said? Let me look it up. Okay, so I see emails. It says healthy meal planner. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and download it. 
because that might be another way too to have like additional recipes too but this is it in the app store apple store so now i'm about to end off the night by grading i didn't have a chance to grade it all yesterday i have about seven more days before grades are due for both of my courses so I'm not like technically behind schedule or anything, but I do want to get this done. As a matter of fact, I want to be done with grading because I got contacted via Upwork from a nonprofit that I have done some consulting work from or with before. And they want me to do an analysis for them. Um, typically, most of their stuff is really quick. Um, so it would be a way to make some quick extra money. But I don't know if I'll have the time, given that I still need to finish up grading and we're about to start recording for the course. And I also have a sponsored video that I need to do pretty much all before we leave, before I leave. Or maybe I can do the sponsored video when I come back. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I need to make sure that I get this off of my plate so that way... I have opportunities or I can take advantage of other opportunities, especially to make money if I can. So, about to get to grading. I'm going to close out day 13 of Vlogmas so that I can get back to grading papers and I'll catch you tomorrow. <laughs>